uh, we shall touch upon Andor. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Mm. Which we know diddly squat about. I mean, it's filming at the minute. Um, a, we know that a... Cassian will be in it. We know that K2 will be in it. We know that Mon Mothma will be in it. That's literally all I know. I don't care. Oh, or Bail Organa. Uh, no word on Bail. That'd be it'd be cool to have him in it because it's all yeah pre New Hope pre Rogue One even isn't it yeah mm. yeah so it's all tied into that and the setup for the original trilogy but um there is there was like a trailer slash sizzle reel type yeah thing, was, that was there? pretty good that also pretty good. the concept art behind the scenes stuff right mm. yeah. yeah and like I like Diego Luna. I think he's a good actor. He was good in Rogue One. I enjoyed the character. I like anything that would... I know there's like comics. There's a comic and like other stories that explore his character more. But um, I feel like to have something like a TV series that explores him as a character and his relationships with people like... I say people. Characters like K2 would be cool. Never really touched upon the fact that he was a separatist. Oh, was he? He was, oh. yes. I mean, it, it's vaguely um, touched upon in uh, Rogue One itself when he says, I've been fighting this war since I was six years old. That being like um, the Clone Wars and the Skylark Civil War were one and the same to him. It's similar to Rangers of the New Republic. It's a case where I'm not that enticed. And I think a problem with it is that I found none of the characters in Rogue One to be memorable in any way they, they didn't have any character behind them now that's the point of this series though is to give at least two of them more meat so that when we revisit rogue one we can actually give a bit of a sh but k2 was fine oh well, k2's uh, yeah okay whatever about k2 but like cassian in particular this at least will give him the opportunity to have a bit more background but even so and I can see you scrunching up your face, and I'm going to agree with you here. Even so, he's not like at the top of my hit list for characters that I give no. a about. I think I feel like this is a huge some... disappointment. I, I'm like, really? I, I don't care. I don't like the character. I don't like Rogue One that much. <gasps> How it's dare kind of you? Bo- it bores me, man. The character is absolutely stuck in that film. <laughs> and um, char- characters make a film, and that that put me to sleep. You didn't and... like you didn't like Riz Ahmed or Donnie Yen or no. Donnie Yen. <laughs> he put he put me to sleep the most. He, he was great. I, I, w- I wish him. he was hitting me with that cane so I can feel something. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. man, honestly, like I d- if I don't know why they're making this show, I. D- <laughs> <laughs> are, are me and Lawrence dead? Are we dead? I, look, listen. If so, I would love for fucking Kathleen Kennedy to come to me and be like, "This is why we're making this show." Because I really don't know. I don't know, and I'm being serious. I don't know what this is adding to the story. But the Andor show that's been on the cards for a while, yeah. Yeah, since yeah. like God, since like the whole a Star Wars story thing started. Tell me, like, pitch to me. I know you guys didn't make the show. You don't know any more than I do. But pitch to me <laughs> what this can actually give me as a fan of Star Wars that I don't already have. No, I, I don't know. I mean, the only other thing I can say about him is that he was a fulcrum agent like Callus, like Ahsoka. So, but even yeah. so, he's. I, I can't pitch it to you. I, I Honestly, yeah. I think... It will expand greatly on his um, disposition in uh, Rogue One um, with the allusion to him being uh, the really kind of hands-on dirty side of the rebellion okay. and, and doing, because he says that he and all the others had committed atrocities in the name of the Rebel Alliance. And yeah. outside of a shot in the back, we don't see much of that. And I feel like the thing that will either make or break this series is us actually seeing him do him do t- terrible things for the rebels, um, like the sort of 
getting blood on his hands, being like the sort of maybe the black ops type guy who needs to. Because while people like Organa and Mon Mothma do the sort of political sort of in the public side of things, yeah. he could be the one that's sort of out back doing the stuff that's necessary for them to do their jobs. Because like you say, Dan, uh, the bit where he, the character played by Dan, is it Daniel Mays? He shoots at the start. It's, it's a bit like, oh. okay, why is he, why was he doing that? Why is he willing to do this? Because other than a comic I've not read, I don't know yeah. why and, he'd do that. And he came damn close to shooting Gail and Nurso as well. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that that's a problem I have with Rogue One. His decision not to shoot him doesn't feel... It feels very out of character because he's not challenged enough in the first act of Rogue One as to why it's not a good idea to mercilessly kill people in the name of a rebellion. But there's no there's no arc for him and suddenly he has a seed of doubt which comes out of nowhere. So I don't know where I'm going with this point. I'm just thinking about one of my problems with Rogue One. <laughs> no, it's I'm, a valid I'm, point I'm happy though. With that. It's a valid point, Lawrence. Is is this potentially what Andor could do? Is that development that should have been in Rogue One? Yeah, that's the best the thing it can. Because the only thing it, unless it reveals something about the whole universe, like it's only really, I'd, I'll watch it. As with yeah. uh, Rangers, I'll watch it. I'll watch because it's Star Wars. Size one. Like it's all it's all Star Wars, so I'll watch it. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch it. But again, like I want to, I want to make sure you know that we are putting these things into a kind of a bubble of our excitement for them. So, so mm. I'm excited for Rangers yep. of the Fast Republic. I'm mm-hmm. not, and this, I'm just not. Agreed. I feel like I'm a bit more excited for Andor than maybe. You are, you're more excited. Yeah. What, like, what's your what's your like levels there? Like Ahsoka, Andor. Ahsoka, Rangers? out of out of what we out of what we've talked about so far, Ahsoka is definitely the top one. Yeah. Then it's probably Andor, and then Rangers. Okay. Right. I think I'm that's fair. Saying... I think I'm probably in the same. I would agree. Mm. Yeah. 